name is Saima, and today I'll be teaching you guys how to make chana masala. <laughs> Fun fact, I make this recipe a lot, and it's not necessarily your traditional chana masala, but this is how I like to make it, and it comes out really good. So I really do, do hope that you guys continue watching my video and learn how to make how I make my chana masala. Keep watching. Okay, we're gonna jump right into the ingredients. This is chickpeas. This is two cans of chickpeas that I soaked and drained off. A can of coconut milk, coconut oil, cilantro. For the veggies, I got chopped tomatoes, green peppers, red peppers, sweet onions, and garlic. For the seasoning, I got garlic powder, paprika, turmeric, cinnamon, cumin seeds, curry powder, and then I got salt, pepper, and red chili flakes. Okay, I'm gonna start off by adding some coconut oil in a pan that I, and I mean a pot, a pot that I heated up in medium heat. Now I'm gonna also add the veggies and start sauteing them. I'm gonna give all that a stir. Now I'm going to start adding all the seasoning, starting with the salt, pepper, red chili flakes, adding a tablespoon of turmeric, curry powder, paprika, cinnamon, some cumin seeds. I mixed all the seasonings together and I let it cook in medium heat for 5 to, to 10 minutes. After the seasoning is cooked down a little bit, I added the chickpeas. I love garlic, so I went ahead and added more garlic powder. Oh, I'm adding coconut milk. This step is completely optional, but I added a little bit of nutritional yeast to my curry. And I also added one packet of those Sazon seasonings you could find at supermarkets. I honestly like to add that to my food just for a color. Now I'm adding cilantro. The only reason why it looks like that is because I bought like a big bulk bag from Costco and I didn't want it to go back so I froze them the freezer but yeah but they they'll taste just as good trust me now i'm gonna let the chickpeas cook for like 10 minutes on medium heat while that's happening you see on the side i'm just gonna heat up some pita bread real quick um i'm cooking my pita bread in coconut oil with garlic and parsley Now I'm going to go ahead and serve. As you can tell, I am extremely clumsy. Oh, there she goes. But yeah, I'm going to serve it with some pizza bread. Traditionally, you would um, serve it with non bread, but I didn't have any. Ta-da! Okay, guys, so this is how you make chana masala. Yeah, I'm very clumsy, as you can see. But I really do hope that you guys try out this recipe. And I think it goes without saying, it's vegan and it's really good and it's healthy. So, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video and have a great day. Bye. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you guys haven't already. And also follow my Instagram at Vegan Life with Saima if you guys haven't already. 
and yeah feel free to comment down below if you guys want me to show you guys any other vegan dishes that i make and yeah hope you guys all have a great day bye